Hello, Boilermakers, and welcome to the new school year. I'm Dora D'Amico, principal of GHS. Whether you are a freshman, new student, or returning student, this is a new beginning for everyone, and certainly with a completely different start to the school year. Each school year is filled with new learning opportunities in and out of the classroom with challenges and successes, and this one will be too. Last year, we were faced with first time ever situations and as a school community, we learned and worked through the challenges together. This school year, all students are starting remotely, meaning all classes will be conducted online through Microsoft Teams. Each day, students need to use their ID number to sign into Homeroom no later than 8.30 a.m. A link has been provided on the homepage and also has been emailed to you. And then, Afterwards, follow our four block schedule with each class lasting one hour. All this information is on our homepage as well as in your email and on parent and student portals. This includes the time schedule and the AB day rotation. This year, Wednesday is our flex day, which means it will alternate between being an A day or B day each week. Otherwise, all Mondays and Thursdays are A days, and all Tuesdays and Fridays are B days. Once again, please review the Remote Learning Handbook, and you will see the schedule through the first week of November. Certainly, our hope is to come back together within the walls of our GHS. We know this will be a gradual process. Meanwhile, we will continue to work together, continue to learn and grow as a school community and as individuals. Remember, what you put into the school year is what you will get out. So make it your best. As a school district, our vision is to encourage, inspire, and support every individual to achieve more. We encourage you to accept the academic, athletic, and extracurricular challenges with enthusiasm, determination, and the champion spirit of a true Boilermaker. Be open to new ideas and different perspectives, and you may be surprised how a mundane activity or conversation can inspire growth. The close-knit community of GHS is made up of your teachers, guidance counselors, administrators, coaches, parents, and your peers who are here to support you to get the most out of your GHS experience. It reflects that we, the GHS family, are here to help each other reach our potential. On behalf of your GHS administration and faculty, we wish you a great year. Remember, we are here for you. Never hesitate to reach out to us. At this time, your TI peer leaders will share some tips on logging on for remote learning. Thank you. Oh, what time is it? Whoa. Homeroom is coming up. I better call Camille to make sure he doesn't forget that we have homeroom from 7.30 to 8.30. Hey, Peter. Yeah, don't worry. I'll, oh, yeah. I'll make sure to log in before 8.30. Yeah. Hey, guys. So the way daily attendance will be taken during remote learning is actually quite simple. So what you have to do is every morning you log into your homeroom. The way you do this is through the virtual remote attendance link, which is right here, also found in the ghs.gboe.org website, or it'll also be emailed to every student to make sure that there's no chance of missing the link. And students who don't log in on time will be marked absent. Also, an automated phone call will be made to the home phone on file. So make sure you log in on time so that doesn't happen. Now that I've done my attendance for homework, I gotta get the first block. Can't be late. Time to log in to my first block class. Italian 4 with Senor Gilly. Oh, it seems like there's an assignment. I'll do that now. Every class lasts one hour, so once you're done with all four, you're done for the day. Hey Kamal, how's it going? Oh, hey man. How did the first day of remote learning go? Oh, it was fantastic. How'd you like it? 
Yeah, man, I agree with you. Honestly, it was a great day, and it was short and simple, easy to follow, and I really liked the experience. Can't wait to do it all again tomorrow. Let's get to here. Alright, I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye. Alright, I'll see you. Hey guys, even though this is an online class, make sure you treat it as you would had it have been a normal class. This means following a couple of rules which I set out for you. That means be on time, wear school appropriate stuff, try to find a quiet place with small distractions, be respectful, stay on mute until you want to contribute something, and the video must be on for you to be considered present for attendance. All right, so basic etiquette for online video learning would be to maintain eye contact, try to limit your movements so you don't cause a distraction, do not share screenshots of Teams meetings where a student or teacher is shown. The chat option should only be used to discuss or ask questions related to the lesson. Do not copy, alter, or redistribute conferencing videos. The Garfield Board of Education reserves the right to file criminal charges with the Garfield Police Department in instances of violations concerning this matter. Remember, this is a class, so treat it as such. Hey guys, how's it going? So the last thing I wanna cover is teacher-student communications. So as you know, we've been using Teams to communicate with our teachers, and that is what will continue to happen for this year as well. Teachers can also use emails to contact you, so make sure you're checking your GBOE account frequently so you're not missing any updates. If you're using a third-party email such as Gmail or Yahoo, your email is likely to not reach your teacher as it is not your GBOE account. 